Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications of my latest videos. Everyday life, we struggle to remember things, study for exams, or remember some essential things in our day to day life. However, the thing we need is to memorize everything accurately. There are so many methods to improve memory, so today we discuss one of the most successful methods, the Mind Palace Method. The Mind Palace, also known as the Method of Loci, is a method of remembering information attached to things inside an imaginary building, a room. The technique originated when the Greek poet Simonides of Sios narrowly escaped being crushed in a building collapse during a crowded banquet. Suddenly, during this party, he wanted to get out of this building, and it is said that the building was collapsed to the ground before he left and returned. The wreckage was so large that even the dead bodies could not be identified by their families. So at this point, the poet was able to pinpoint the whereabouts of even strangers he had never met before. He introduced this mind palace method to the world based on this incident. It is said that even after that, many people in the world have achieved successful results by doing various experiments and practices regarding this. The book known as The Art and Science of Remembering Everything, written by Joshua Faw, says how he used this method and became the USA Memory Champion in 2006. And also, it is said that even Sherlock Holmes used this method in his investigations. So we also can use this technique to enhance our memory. So imagine any building or room, such as a school, a house or an office. I think the best and most familiar one you can imagine is your house. Then close your eyes for a while and memorize the doors, kitchen, windows, television, such things. I hope it's very easy to see them in your imagination. So when you want to memorize something, you can take those and substitute those things for your familiar places. Substituting them strangely or nonsensically may be more effective here. As an example, let's say you want to remember five sensory organs and your house has five rooms. So you can substitute each room for each organ or substitute other objects for your organs such as television for eyes, radio for ears, food plate for tongue, perfume bottle for nose, fan and cream, body lotion, also for skin. So when you see the television, you can memorize eyes. When you see the perfume, you can remember nose likewise. As such, simple names or points, you can even memorize complex processes using this method. For example, think about the photosynthesis process in plants. First, CO2 molecules enter the leaves through stomata openings. So imagine you are the CO2 molecule and you enter the house by an opening door. This process can be substituted for the above process. As this way, the whole process can be substituted and you can create a mind palace as a convenient way for you. Wow, what an exciting thing to know! You can study for exams using this curious method and remember many things and it is not difficult to study anymore. There is no rule that any of these methods must be followed in this way. You can get results by practicing the technique that suits you best and adjusting it as convenient. Thanks for watching.